Hello, I'm Stuart Hay, Head of Design Technology at the Queen's School. We've got an amazing facility here in Design Technology. The pupils love coming into this room. Uh, we've got a range of workshop tools and hand tools and equipment, as well as computer-aided design and manufacturing equipment, such as 3D printers, laser cutters. Um, the pupils in really enjoy doing all the problem solving. They enjoy um, bringing out their creative side. Um, they solve real-world problems, especially as we get through to GCSE and A level. At Keystrace 3, the pupils make things such as lamps and clocks, and they do an architectural um, redesign of a shop front. Um, it really brings out their creative side, um, and they, they love doing it. At, at GCSE, um, they get onto more complicated things. We start you bringing in some electronics, some computer programming into the curriculum, um, as well as at A-level. And at A-level, the pupils make a wide range of things um, that are pointing towards their future career or future university courses. For example, I've got a budding dentist in my A-level design technology class who is making a dental training aid um, with a 3D printer, a whole um, jaw set up with various cracks in teeth and fillings and things like that, and an opening and closing working jaw. I've got another pupil who's doing an electronics project where she's building some hardware for gamification of climbing training. Um, so with some climbing holds and some LEDs and some timers and some pressure sensors so that the user knows which, um, which holds to hold and for how long to hold them. Um, so real world problem solving, unique innovative projects. Um, pupils go off to do things like product design and engineering at university or careers in computer aided design and other, other related fields. It's great to see so many girls doing this subject, which in, traditionally is sometimes seen as a bit um, more for boys, um, but not in this case, and the girls um, have such a high level of creativity and problem solving here at Queen's. Um, and there's all the soft skills that are built into this as well, such as project management, time management, at GCSE and A level, the pupils have to work with real world clients um, as well. Um, and so they, they, they build all those soft skills in, which helps them in future employment. I hope that gives you a good insight to design technology at the Queen's School. Um, if you have any further questions, then organise a visit or contact us and I'll be happy to get back to you.